What's going on, Charles Botenstein? So today, I know it's not a book review, I know it's not self-development, it's just one of those things that in life, I just want life to be a little bit easier, so I'm always looking for a new app, a new way of doing things, a new website, a new widget for my website, something that's gonna automate something that I'm normally doing. And in this case, it's going wireless. And that's with the AirPods. But when I first saw it, I was like, I don't know, that kind of looks like a Q-tip. It kind of looks a little funky actually just sticking out of your ear. And I said, how good is the sound? I've had Bluetooth before. Bluetooth, you know, like back in the day, we would wrap around your head. And it supposedly picked up and it felt your vibrations of your jaw and it picked up the voice. But in New York City, when I'm walking around, there's a lot of wind that goes in the winter. It's the summer, it's loud and people are talking where there's drop calls or I couldn't hear them because it was just in one ear. It's never worked out. It just wasn't good. It wasn't effective. I always went with wired, even the wired little earbuds that you get with Apple. I just, I would hold it up here. Kind of a pain in the ass. For me, it's huge because sales calls is everything. I'm making sales calls and my earbuds are plugged into my phone and then my phone starts losing battery because I'm making phone calls and then halfway through the day, I can't charge it because my earbuds are in there. And then I have to go out on appointments and then my phone dies. So I'm like, I can use these, keep my phone plugged in, and then go out and my, my phone is credible with the battery. You know, with the earbuds, it would come down here and they would say like, oh, I can't, I can't hear you. And I'm like, all right. So then I would have to hold it like this right around my mouth. I looked up Bluetooth. I'm just looking it up for health reasons. Having a wireless signal, a wireless telephone around, you know, girls, when I go to the, the gym, they have their, their phone in their sports bra. And I'm like, that's terrible. I'm like, that's not good. So I literally walk up. Yeah, they're attractive and everything else. But I say, listen, and I pretend like I'm a doctor, but I've read up so many bad things about having your cell phone guys if you have it down here and you're, you know, you have your everything down there and then you also have your phone and it's just radiating just these, these airwaves which are really powerful, they're going to a transmission that could be miles away. I looked up this endlessly Bluetooth and it's, you know, it's a different wavelength, you know, technicality, I don't know the, the names and everything else, but uh, in general, after a day and a half of ridiculous research, I've concluded that Bluetooth isn't that bad so long as it's not, it's like alcohol, it's like, so long as it's in moderation. This is the charging case. This lasts, Apple says, up to 24 hours. First of all, what I like is that it's magnetic. Really, you push it and it just closes and it stays closed. They're tiny. They are literally, they, they weigh nothing. They literally weigh earbuds. They, like how you even can fit a battery, wireless technology and a projectile, to the microphone out. It's like a little sensor that claims uh, or not claims, it actually registers that it's in your ear. It's not that bad. I actually was biking today and saw a girl wearing them. It kind of looks funny when you see it on someone else. I'm walking around New York City and, I, and you know, I have longish hair and I'm just, hey, yeah, yeah, no, definitely, give me a call on that. So someone from behind doesn't see anything, especially, you know, I have a jacket on, it's winter time, I have my hair down, it could be blowing around and you can't really see that I have that in there. I kind of look like a psycho. Not only is the range really good, the noise cancellation is unreal. I was literally bike riding on a city bike through the streets of Manhattan doing the deal. You know, you'll hear like towards the end a little bit of wind because I'm, I'm talking in, into my phone for Instagram stories and I'll include that here. I gotta be 100% honest, these things, I just made a, uh, a sales call and no wind. Unreal reception, but I look like a complete psycho because I'm just talking to myself and people can't see it, see it with my long hair. <laughs> Finally, after the third offer, after the third time, third buyer that has gone up, he's getting like 2,200 a square foot, which is like 500 more than a comparable in the area. We're good at what we do. The noise cancellation, the, the person I was talking to, they're like, yeah, I can't hear anything. I'm like, really? I'm city biking through the streets right now. They're like, yeah. And I'm like, wow. I'm like, that's amazing. So then a couple of days have passed. The battery is incredible. You keep it in this case, put it in there for 30 minutes, and it's almost like 70% charged. I've used it up to about four and a half, five hours, probably about five hours before it starts. It, it makes this like, like that noise and then you're like, okay, it needs to be charged. Essentially, this is all you need to carry around. And then all day, and this is your charger. And then right here at the bottom, that's the iPhone charger that the lightning port, so it, you can use that, which it comes with this little light right there and it obviously shows when it's charged, when it's not charged. I love them. I love them. I had my skeptics, I had my doubts, and it's one of those things I actually made by two. How did I get it? I bought mine on eBay, link below for Amazon, which is actually cheaper. Listen, it's up to you. I don't, you know, I trusted it because of the reviews of the actual seller. Obviously, if you're watching this after the launch, it's a little bit different pre-launch. I don't know why Apple has been pushing back their uh, date 
but I think it's because there's a lot of demand for it. You're gonna love it because you don't have any wires around you. Sound is great. Connectivity, connectivity is amazing. The noise cancellation is really good. I was city biking, like I said, in New York City, so it's not that big of a deal when it comes to, if you're driving in a car, you're not gonna hear anything. Is that even legal? I think you can talk and, yeah. I've never owned a car, so I have no idea. If you do have any questions, I am here for you. Anyway, subscribe to the video. Talk to you guys soon. Have an awesome day.